Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations. And for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads, watch us every week on Kazakh TV. One of the substantial traditions in the nomad culture is to hand weave household items. This tradition has developed well on the territory of modern Kazakhstan. Everything starting from the yurt decorations to carpets to bedding was weaved on the wooden stands. In today's show we will talk about the history of carpet weaving art and its secrets. The history of the craft goes back to ancient times when our ancestors herded sheep and used its wool. The meat went to the table while the skin and wool was used in production. To be exact, the wool was used to make keys, felt, sirmak, embroidered felt and carpets. <laughs> My mother used to weave carpets. We always had livestock at home. The wool that came from these animals was cleaned, softened, combed to be twined into threads by our mothers. After coloring the threads, they weave carpets, press tikimets and layers a la shas. I was always around helping my mother and I guess this early exposure to the carpet making process defined my choice of a career. It did for my whole family. Laid on the floor, a carpet makes a good cover, hung on the wall, a good adornment. The main idea behind using carpets was to preserve the warmth of the house and give a sense of comfort. The tradition to use carpets has traveled the time into the modern houses of the Kazakhs. There is no nation in the East that hasn't developed its own way of weaving and using carpets. For nomads, carpets were a very convenient piece of household accessory. It is easy to use, easy to clean, easy to replace. Properly taken care of, a good carpet can serve multiple generations and become a family heirloom. Now making a high quality carpet that will serve that long is hard work that requires a separate discussion. An old art passed on from a mother to a daughter. Carpet weaving has become a part of the lifestyle and is almost innate to all nomads. Based on the type, the region and the weaving technique, the carpets can come in multiple variations and hence carry distinct differences. For the lack of a better option, the majority of the carpets were made on hand looms. Nowadays we use modern knitters. They are faster, more efficient, all in all more productive. It takes a year or even two to finish a carpet on a hand loom. Preparing the wool, combing it, twining it, and coloring the new thread is the responsibility of women. This process alone takes a year or two winters to finish. The various ornaments on the surface of the carpet are representative of the chronicles of the nomadic life. You can trace the genesis of our ancestors, our tree of life, the abundance of livestock, historical mounds, clusters of grapes, all of this is shown here on this carpet. However tentative, these pictures are very illustrative of the reality of that time. Among the carpets of the world, the samples that come from Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan stand out in their beautiful uniqueness and similarity. 
Sharing common roots and technique, these specimens originate in the deep history. Говоря о казахском ковре, нельзя не сказать о том, что вообще the art of carpet weaving has been around for a long time now. That can be said from the excavated remnants of the periods long preceding the modern civilization. For example, the remnants of the specimen of the applied art and carpets were found recently in the Altai Mountains. Unquestionably, the art of making carpets is a staple of the Kazakh culture. The ancient carpet masters used two main methods of weaving. The thick carpets meant to be used on the floors were made on the big sewing benches. To the non-aware, making carpets can seem like an easy task, but only experienced professionals can make high-quality products. The hand looms come in two kinds, vertical and horizontal. Either picked depending on the type of carpets that is to be made. The vertical one was mainly used in the yurts thanks to its miniature size. According to the modern ethnographers, the similarities between the carpets made in the Turkic nations are hard to miss. Among them, the Kazakh carpets show a strong connection to the ancient Saka, Kun, and Kwishkwap civilizations. This connection picks through the colorful depictions of the lifestyle, traditions, craft, and natural elements on the rugs. In general, the carpets are divided into two types, hand-weaved and machine-weaved. The hand-weaved samples are usually made from natural materials like wool or silk. However, few hand-woven carpets we have now are the legacy of our ancestors and carry historical rather than utilitarian value, and hence, had lost popularity amongst craftsmen, becoming a favorite of the few. In Iran, Turkmenistan, India, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, the art is thriving and engages way more people. The most recent models of the carpets are made on the German and Belgian machines. The production now allows to supply the whole world. The local products are comparable to the imported stock. For example, the base thread used abroad is called polypropylene. Belgium, Turkey and Iran use polypropylene as well. The only factor that changes from a country to a country is the length of the pile, thick or thin. The amount of colors used in the final product affect the quality. All in all, our carpets are no worse than the imports. Carpet weaving is not simply an art, it is a tradition. Getting together to felt a tikimet or weave an ala shah is an old and beautiful tradition for the Kazakh women. Performed in a set by age order, the process is a ritual of sorts, a ritual performed on a peaceful day in observance of the new beginnings. Every 
Each element in the carpet weaving is made by its own master. The base thread is twined by ones, the running thread by others, the decorations by the third group. All these people are called to one house and treated to a feast before they get to work. By the rule of the tradition, before the first endeavors, the 12-year-old girls are to run the first loom. Ji Zhu Girtu, so that the work goes smoothly, the thread stays whole, the carpet comes out beautiful. After the youngest in the household are invited to make the first couple of loops as the way to engage them in the tradition. This way the knowledge is passed on to them in a gradual, natural manner. The art of carpet weaving has involved tremendously in the Kazakh culture, and as an old craft it occurred many a secret to its perfection. The developed decorating convention alone requires a separate book. Aspali, hung ornaments are the kind that is only used on carpets. The thread is run from the top to the bottom of the piece in this genre. This complex process requires that two or three craftswomen work on one piece simultaneously. Correlation between the kind of pictures on the carpets and the type of agriculture that people were involved in is more than obvious. In the regions where people were involved in cattle herding, the carpets depicted cows and sheep and the herders atop horses, while the regions involved in fishing showed more nets and boats and fish. In almost all pieces we can see the author's intention to show the vast borders of the country. A curious mind can actually read a whole story off a piece like this. These works carry a strong wish for the country to prosper, its people to be healthy and harmonious while preserving a clear state of mind and kindness. Конечно, сейчас мы должны сохранить Preserving the remnants of our culture is paramount these days. Conserving these works as showpieces for our children shall become of highest priority, despite the fact that our modern lives are missing the main use points for these items. Потому что ковры они утепляли стены, это и стелили их и на пол, вот. Конечно. We keep our houses warm. Our floors covered by something else, but the production of the genuine wool carpet should be taken back into our hands. Ну, конечно, все это сталкивается с некоторыми трудностями, потому что само производство ковров это очень тяжелый вид. Yes, there are obstacles. It will be hard, but the price of losing the core art of ornamentation and craftsmanship is too high. We have kept up the work for so many generations and should keep working on preserving and reviving our cultural and spiritual identity. Having reached the epitome of its development, handicraft is foreseen to thrive and carry cultural value throughout the future. As a part of it, carpet weaving will renew and spread across the nation permeating its farthest corners. This is what the modern experts say. We are eager to buy and process the local wool to make 100% local products. For this, we have set up special programs in cooperation with the government and hopefully will seize the results and ship the threads and the final products abroad for the rest of the world to marvel on.